Episode six: How to stay positive when you're around negative people. Helping you create more happiness, abundance, and freedom in your life and community because you deserve it. And now, your host for the Happy Abundant Freedom Podcast, Angela Lin. Hey, it's Angela Lin, and welcome to episode six of the Happy Abundant Freedom Podcast. Now, in today's episode, we're going to cover how perhaps you're feeling negative sometimes, and part of the reason is because you're around negative people. So. Their negative energy may cause you to feel bad, mad, or upset in your life as well. And some of these negative people are people like your family, your friends, your coworkers, or other people in your life that you can't really avoid. So I'm going to share with you three easy steps on how you can become more positive when you're around negative people. So the first step is to really understand that. Their negative energy and their negative comments towards you, please don't take it personally. You see, a lot of times, negative people, because they're not happy with their own lives, they might be mad or upset about themselves or with other things going on in their life, that they feel like they want to share this and help others feel just as bad as they do. So they start saying negative things, negative comments to other people as well. So it's not directly、uh, related to you, but actually, guess what? They're just going to be negative towards a lot of other people. So it's you really have to not take their negative comments personally. And one one of the things that when I first got started in teaching people about study skills, granted, I wasn't the best at、um, being on camera and how to act in terms of what to say. Things like that. So my content it wasn't the best. I'll agree with that. But the thing is, for example, one of the comments that I got was somebody who was quite negative and saying about how I had no personality. I'm just stupid.、Um, I talk with an accent. I am very bad at pr- presentation. So at first, when I read that comment, I took it really personally, and I was quite upset. I did shed some tears over it,、um, and. One of the reasons is because that's one of the first couple of comments I got, and I was just thinking, well, why? Why am I so bad? I mean, why does somebody dislike me so much? But then I realized that、um, that person who made this comment was actually acting negative towards a lot of other people as well. It's not just me,、um, because I saw other comments that that person posted, and they were all pretty much negative comments.、Um, so. It felt like perhaps they're not happy with their lives, and they simply want others to not feel good about themselves either. So make sure you don't take it personally. And really, if I look at it now, after I realized that that person was acting negatively towards a lot of people, not just myself, and then I realized that there are actually a lot of other people that enjoyed what I do and、um, really like the information that I was providing. And so now. I have almost 180,000 views on YouTube, and more than 890 subscribers to help people to do better in school. So, really, you just have to recognize that. Now, step two is to start distancing yourself away from people who are negative, and go towards people who are positive. So. If you hang around negative people a lot,、um, whether it's your friends, your family, your coworkers, well, if you spend a lot of time on that, then a lot of your focus and a lot of your energy is going to be spent on what's known as negative energy, mad, being mad, or being upset. And the more time that you spend with these people, the more negative you're going to feel about other parts of your life because you're already focusing a lot of time. On negativity here, and so you'll start to see everything or all the things that's wrong in your life. Well, that's not going to move you anywhere closer to the life that you truly want and that happiness that you truly want. So, what you can do is start distancing yourself away from these negative people, and to start 
finding more positive people who are seem to be happy, um, optimistic, really excited about life, and start trying to hang out with these people even more. Now, perhaps you're wondering, well, what if I don't know any of these people right now? What should I do? Well, the first step is to simply just start minimizing your time at least away from these negative people. Uh, you see my friend, um, sh her family had provided her with some negative energy and so she was unhappy and um, really not fulfilled in terms of what she wanted to do in her life. And at the time she was living with her family. So what did she do? Well, she was able to actually move out. And as soon as she moved out, she became happier, um, was more excited and more fulfilled about what she was doing in life. So really start distancing yourself away from those negative people and then um, start finding positive people. Just at first, even if you don't know any of these positive people right now in your life, Trust in the fact that the universe will provide you um, with opportunities to network with, with these positive people. And you can even find some networking uh, events or groups at in, within your local area that perhaps you'll be able to find these uh, people who are quite energized, positive, etc. So um, that's step two. Distance yourself away from neg negative people and start hanging out with more positive to people. Now, step three is to simply become a role model for positivity. Uh, so the reason for that is because, well, negative people, they're going to be negative and, but one way that you could do is you could start helping those people to become at least a bit more positive. And by doing so, you can also help yourself to become more positive as well. Be the person, be the change that you want to see in the world, um, is what Gandhi said. And truly, I do believe that because if you want to see a change in the amount of positivity in your life and also those around you, you have to start being that change. So one way that you can do that is to become a role model by sharing with them perhaps something that's inspirational, something that's motivational, happy, or what's good in the world. Start sharing those information with these negative people. And at the same time, what you can do is you can actually go to our Facebook fan page, um, Facebook community, at facebook.com slash happyabundantfreedom, where we provide you with inspirational quotes um, or motivational quotes that will uplift you and make you feel more positive. And these are daily quotes that, um, or daily tips that you can start sharing to these negative people as well to not only help them, but also help yourself become more positive as well. So simply, perhaps even jokes uh, could be something that you can start sharing with people uh, to help bring up the positive uh, things in your life and those around you. So let me just quickly recap what the three steps are. So the first step is to not take their negative comments personally. The second step is to distance yourself away from negative people and start hanging out with more positive, optimistic people who are excited and happy about life. And step three is be a role model for positivity, not only in your life, but also those around you. For this episode's show notes with action steps, resources, transcripts, and my video recording, please visit happyabundantfreedom.com slash EP6 or EP6 uh, so that you can find the, these action steps and also resources that will help you to become more positive. Now, also on that page, I want you to post in the comments section below as to which one of these three steps that you're going to start taking action um, if there's negative people in your life or if perhaps you're, uh, you have a lot of positive people in your life, what are you going to do to become a better role model at positivity? Remember to check out our Facebook page um, for ways that you can help people to become more positive as well. So in the next episode, we're going to be covering what are the three steps that you can do to attract more of what you want in your life. As a special thank you gift 
for becoming a subscriber to my podcast. I want to personally give you my ten secrets to discovering your purpose and living a fulfilled life. This is my ebook that's worth forty-seven dollars that I'm going to give to you for free, and it includes the strategies and action steps on how to discover your purpose in life in just four steps. How to feel happier in five seconds. How to feel alive and live life to the fullest. One secret to having more love in your relationships. How to eliminate negativity and three steps to stay positive when you're around negative people. So you can get this ebook for free by going to www. dot happyabundantfreedom. dot com slash fulfilled dash life dash ebook, and you can feel free to share this with your friends or family who are looking to discover their purpose in life and live that fulfilled life that they've always wanted. So share it with them by visiting www. dot happyabundantfreedom. dot com. Slash fulfilled dash life dash ebook, and I look forward to sharing all of these great strategies and information with you. Thanks for watching.